So, what exactly happened to the Axelton Stuff Pack? If you didn't know, Axelton Stuff was released on June 11th, 2024 and almost instantly became a massive hit. This pack wasn't your average resource pack. It completely revamped animations for both players and mobs in Minecraft. Something that hadn't been done quite like this before. The channel that uploaded it practically came out of nowhere and suddenly everyone was talking about it. Tons of YouTubers reviewed it, even myself. But then, something strange happened. Not long after the initial release, version 1.02 was dropped on Planet Minecraft. But just a few days later, the pack vanished from the site. People were confused and naturally questions started pouring in. Why would such an amazing resource pack disappear so suddenly? Thankfully, we got an answer from one of the creators themselves. In a comment on Echo Soldier's channel, they explained that they had temporarily delisted the pack with plans to bring it to the Minecraft Marketplace as an official add-on. They want to make sure everyone can enjoy it, and the Marketplace offers a great way to do that while also supporting the financial needs of the creators. Sure, it's a controversial move, but they have their reasons. They've worked incredibly hard on this pack, and it shows. So let's not attack them for their decision. Now, let's talk about the Marketplace itself. I know there's some mixed feelings about resource packs and add-ons being moved to the Marketplace. So let's weigh the pros and the cons. On the plus side, the marketplace gives creators a safer platform to distribute their content, and it's a lot more secure than some sketchy websites out there. MC Pedal, for example, isn't the safest place to download things from, but the marketplace offers peace of mind. Also, creators get compensated for their hard work, which might encourage them to create even more amazing content. Now, the downside, of course, is the fact that you have to pay for it. I get it. It's frustrating when something awesome that was once free now comes with a price tag. But think about it from the creator's perspective. They've put in tons of effort to create something so incredible, and it's only fair that they get something in return. Plus, who knows, that support could even lead to even better packs in the future. As of now, actions and stuff still isn't on the marketplace, but I'm hopeful it'll make its way there soon. In the meantime, we might see more content from the same creators, and who knows what else they may have up their sleeves. If there are any updates, I'll be sure to drop them down in the description or pin a comment at the top. And hey, if you have any news or thoughts about this pack, let me know in the comments down below. So, that's the story behind Actions and Stuff, from its explosive launch to its sudden disappearance. If you have enjoyed the video and want to see more content like this, make sure to hit that like button down below and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye!